Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about another wonderful herb in Ayurvedic medicine for digestive health, and that's the herb Chitrak, Plumbago zelanica, and we'll, we will be re referring to the classical text Bhava Prakash. Chitrak is pungent in its taste and post-digestive effect, and it is ushna or heating in its virya. Its actions are Agni Deepana, which is kindling to Agni, and Amapachana, burning of metabolic waste products. So any, any uneliminated metabolic waste, including any potentially pathogenic bacteria or increased yeast formations and so on, okay? And uh, it, it is also Lekanya uh, or Lekana, and that's a scraping or reducing action. It also has a drying action. So when there's excess liquidity in the body in various ways, it can help to dry that, mitigate that, and balance it. Um, now, I say it's vata pacifying primarily from its agni stimulating effect, okay? And it's kapha pacifying doing, due to its reducing effect. So long-term, use of chitrak is primarily going to help to pacify and manage kapha dosha. In specific use, it can be uh, a phenomenal herb to help with vata conditions of agni, vishama agni, or variable digestive fire. But here I'd like to first talk about mandagni, slow fire, because that's where chitrak's rubber really hits the road. Mandagni, slow fire, is, is uh, characterized by a heaviness in the upper in the upper gastric region or the upper central region of your abdomen. And it, it's, uh, Manda Agni will present with symptoms such as uh, low appetite or absence of appetite or being full very quickly after eating just a little bit of food, burping and belching the taste of food, uh, meaning food stagnation, food sitting in your stomach too long, developing reflux or GERD. And um, GERD primarily is caused by a decrease of Agni, uh, causing food to sit in the stomach too long. And then when we lay down flat to fall asleep, even three, four hours after eating, we may have reflux. Um, bending over even can create a problem for some people with reflux, especially with the, with, if there's hiatal hernia involvement. And uh, so here, Chitrak helps to light that central fire, Jatar Agni, and support good healthy digestion, lightening the quality of that uh, digestive energy, thereby helping to burn phlegm that can tend to form as a byproduct of Mandagni. People who have slow fire can often feel congested after eating food. And so here, Chitrak can be helpful for um, Bilater bilateral rhinitis or any kind of congestion or sinus inflammation. Uh, I would say not so much the sinus inflammation more than the phlegm itself, the phlegm formation. And uh, another way that we consider to use chitrak is for its reducing energy, its lay kind of energy. So whenever there is excessive, uh, excessive conditions, that are a byproduct of slow digestion, slow metabolism, whether it be weight gain, phlegm, like I mentioned earlier, even uh, dampness that can form in the tissues and fluids of the body. I don't consider it a primary treatment for edema, but if there are other kapha presentations that tend to focus around the central site of pitta, the stomach, um, it can be useful or even the avalamba kapha areas of the chest, the lungs. Again, it's not considered a decongestant so much as a stimulator to agni to digest properly, so thereby not forming excessive kapha that can uh, you know, circulate through the body, affect the various subtypes of, 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 of kapha dosha, being avalamba kapha in the chest, uh, Bodha kapha in the head, Shlesha kapha in the joints, and so on. Um, Chitrak is considered to, according to Baba Prakash, uh, curing to diseases of the small intestine. And here, uh, I like to talk about how this occurs and well, how Chitrak is useful in this way. Well, the food is emulsified, broken down and emulsified and cooked, digested, and 
prepared like a meal for the small intestine. That chyme or ahara rasa, ahara rasa means food juice. So that chyme or that food juice is then presented in, to the small intestine and the small intestine uh, um, digest via the villi into the general circulation into the tissues of the body and so that that quality of, ab uh, of absorption and that integrity of that small intestine um, is reliant upon good healthy agni in the stomach so if chitrak helps to support agni the central digestive fire chatara agni uh, then digestion absorption and assimilation happens in a prudent manner and then because of that good healthy digestion, there's less metabolic waste buildup, uh, there's a healthier quality to even the large intestine. So, chitrak is used for conditions of loose motion that are more cold in nature rather than pathogenic in nature, uh, more damp or watery in nature. Uh, so, uh, it, it's also uh, consider, considered in, in the text to be good for hemorrhoids. Um, sometimes this is classified as uh, vata and kapha forms of hemorrhoids. Now, all hemorrhoids, both internal and external, have very similar causes. Age is a factor because of chron chronic straining, dry stool, um, you know, uh, irritation to the mucocutaneous membrane of the anus itself, um, and various other causes. But here, chitrak is good for internal hemorrhoids that are not in a phase of heavy bleeding. Okay, if there's more bleeding involved, we might want to use more rakta stambana or more astringent herbs, bitter herbs, colder herbs, and pacifying pitta dosha to relieve that frequency of engorgement and bleeding of the internal hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids often respond very well to the same types of treatment that you would use for internal hemorrhoids that are more of a in, in their bleeding phase. But hemorrhoids, treating of hemorrhoids or arsha is a whole other topic. And you can see my blog and my website uh, at bluelotusayurveda.com for more about arsha or hemorrhoid treatment. Uh, another way that uh, Baba Prakash uh, classifies uh, chitrak is being good for the treatment of krimi or worms. Uh, and krumi could be other forms of parasite. I mean, we can take that idea of krumi, but anything that acts parasitic, including uh, candida, even though candida is not parasitic in nature, having candidiasis can have a similar effect as having too much ama in the body, um, it, which, it, it, which can disturb the biome of the gut, disturb that balance of bacteria in the gut, and potentially pathogenic bacteria can form and have uh, effects similar to having some forms of parasites. Uh, in a sense, robbing ourselves of some good healthy nutrition that can be had through good digestive health. But here, uh, the treatment of, 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 ame of ame amoebiasis or roundworms or any other types of um, worms or parasites, uh, some of these herbs can be quite hard on the digestion when taken long term. Um, so the herb chitra can be used to help to support Agni in the process of ridding the body of parasites. Um, so I think that gives us enough for now. Uh, there have, there's, there's so much more that we can talk about when it comes to the use of chitra in Ayurveda. But again, I'm wanting to offer just a few little nibbles or tidbits that you can remember. You can refer to my book, Ayurvedic Herbology East and West, A Practical Guide to Herbal, um, Ayurvedic Herbal Medicine. Um, there's other really good uh, sources of Ayurveda, both modern and uh, classical texts that can give you uh, more information on Chitrak. And uh, I look forward to seeing you, seeing you again. Uh, so subscribe to my channel below and have a good day.